Okay, let's move on to the super quadric tool. Okay, let's hit the end for numeric. Okay, so let's start with toroid. Okay, so this is a sort of like a style of like that donut like we saw before, except it sort of Oh, it says super quadratic or quadric, sorry. So it looks kind of like a quad with four sides um, <clears throat> and just rounded a little bit. So kind of interesting. Okay. So once again, you can change the axis which it's facing. Let's stick with Y. Segments, you can make it more rounded. Okay. Okay, we can go sides. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Okay, and you've got all sorts of other different parameters you can mess around with here as well. Let's uh, let's bump this back up again. Okay, um, you know, center, obviously, same thing. Same thing, the crosshairs, you can grab it. Same as the other tools. Change the position numerically or with the sliders. Uh, size on the X and the Y and the Z planes. See, you can stretch the stuff out. Okay. See in the X, see in the Y, this looks kind of almost like a bear, uh, kind of a barrel shape. So if you want to make a barrel, some form of a barrel quickly, sort of like a quadric version of it, you can do that. So that's kind of, that's pretty handy. Okay, let's go back to its original size, pretty close to it anyways. There we go, okay. On the Z, can elongate it out. I think that was the same. Yeah, so X does the same thing. So point five. Point five. Okay, so we're back to our same shape again. Uh, you can also adjust the whole size. So that's kind of neat. It seems to have an effect on the size of the object as well. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, let's see. Now we have something called top bulge and side bulge. Ooh. Now that's neat. Sort of. It sort of creates a harder edge. Uh, see? Bonk. Oh, it starts creating a size to it. Let's take that. Whoops. Oh, I'm messing with the whole size again. Silly me. Let's uh, bring this down. Okay. So you can sharpen sharpen up the edge by dragging the top bulge. Um, let's pull that back to where it probably close to where it was. Yeah. And if you go down like that, you go really low. Creates an interesting shape like that. But let's uh let's bring it back to where it's supposed to be. Let's try the side bulge. Ooh, that looks kind of neat. Look at, oh, that's nice. So, see what it's doing? It's cr those corners, that quad look, the default quad look. So you can actually turn this back into a donut shape again by adjusting the, <coughs> excuse me, the side bulge. Oh, wow. And bring it right in. So this could make some 
pretty neat stuff if you combine a lot of this stuff together. Create some interesting shapes. Okay, so lots of possibilities and once again uh, you can create UVs inside here as well. Okay, um, oh, and let's uh, clear that one out. Let's, let's, whoops, sorry, let's hit the, uh, I'll pull it up. Okay, I reactivated it. Let's go to ellipsoid. Okay, so that's a different uh, style of shape we got going here. Once again, same deal. You can change the axis, change the amount of sides that it has. Okay, segments. See, it almost turns into a diamond kind of shape. And you can mess things up in here. You can move this around. You can grab the corners, stretch them out. Make some different, different shapes. Let's, uh, let's bring this back out. Okay, let's, uh, so you got center, same deal. I don't think we need to go through that yet. You know how to use the center tool, either use this or type in numbers, use the sliders, um, size, once again, you can elongate stuff. Okay, you can make it heighten, stretch it out on the z-axis. Okay, and let's see what top bulge does. Okay, so it takes the, once again, the, the, the edges, inside of here and you can tighten them up or round them out. Okay, side bulge does similar to what the other uh, what the uh, toyroid did. Okay, you can tighten up those quad corners. Let's uh, add more more sides to this. You can make this pretty much perfectly round or you can quad it out. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of different things you can, you can do from here and once again you can make UVs inside of this window. Okay, you have to just make sure that it's selected. Okay, so we're going to move on to the uh, next primitive tool.